My name's Peter Ogburn and I'm a referee. I, I first became a referee on the Isle of Wight at the age of 19 and I used to referee with the Isle of Wight Snooker Association and go away every year for the Inter-Island Snooker Tournament. I did that till I was 30 and then moved away from the Isle of Wight and moved to the Midlands and then stopped everything to do with snooker and took about 10 years out. About four years ago, I uh, decided to re-qualify and re-qualified with Brendan Moore. Really interesting, um, with Rob Spencer as well. And since then, it's been really exciting, really good fun. I've been uh, doing lots and lots of work and uh, get really good opportunities. I've done uh, marking at the English Amateur Final in the, the Centurion in Cheltenham, where the Grand Prix was held a few years ago. I've um, refereed two under 21 national finals. I've been to China. I'm now doing the World Women's. This is the first time I've done World Women's. I've also done World Disability, loads and loads of English stuff and looking forward for more, more and more opportunities, really. This year has been a, been a big change. Uh, we all had to do a bridging course to sort of recertify our qualifications. And that's because they're, they're bringing in the child protection. It's really important that you know, as, as, a, as a national governing body, we look after the children, make sure they're all, all well looked after when we join tournaments and we, we can actually identify any sort of things that are bad for those young people. And that's one of the steps. Also introduction of a, a new qualifying course for referees which involves World Snooker referees, Brendan Moore, Jan Verhaas, um, Glyn Sullivan Bliss Blissett's involved, and Paul Bannister from Sheffield, one of the top referees in England, and, and Anders was a big assessor as well. So it's, it's positive, lots and lots of people have now become new referees, and there's, you know, I think there's over 150 brand new referees in the country, which is great for people like myself, and other senior refs, what we, we consider ourselves as more senior refs, because we've been doing it for a long time. It gives us opportunities to do other work, so running tournaments rather than just being the referees there at every single event. And also that then opens up more opportunities for other people to get involved as well. If you wanted to become a referee, there's, it's a really easy process. You go onto the EPSB website and, or, or on the WPBSA website and there's links on there which tells you how to become a referee and what forms to fill in. It's really simple. I mean, I decided, say, 19 years old to become a referee and it was purely because I wanted to watch better players play and learn how to play the game better myself. And the, the way I saw of doing that was actually being right next to the people who were good players. And it really helped my game as well. I mean, any, anybody that, who's, who's that sort of age who wants to improve the game, I would definitely recommend being a referee to do that. When I, when I first re-qualified again, we were with the, the current national governing body and that changed from that organisation to the EPSB on the finals weekend, I think it was about three years ago now. Obviously snooker and everything's been stopped for the last 18 months or so. But for a referee, it's, there seems to me definitely more opportunity out there now. So when I first re-qualified, I wasn't, seen, wasn't getting picked to do any of the tournaments. I was lucky enough to do the finals weekend in Sheffield where I did the under-21 national final the first time. And then when the EPSB came along, Every time I put my name forward to do anything, I was always successful because I'm committed to actually getting out there and doing the work and helping the, the national government body try and get to where they want to get to.